when this happens, realize that this is the one. And the people that realize it initially or the first batch that go towards him is from our lands, from Khurasan. The black flags will rise from the areas of Afghanistan. And this is part of the beliefs of the Ahl Sunnah that a person will come who will be from the lineage of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Rasul says, Al Mahdi min Itrati min Waladi Fatima. The Mahdi is from my lineage, as in from my progeny, from the children of Fatima. And then he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, His name will be my name. So his name will be Muhammad. And his father's name will be my father's name. So he will be Muhammad ibn Abdullah. A lot of the scholars agree that the first of the major signs will be the Mahdi. Who is Al Mahdi? Al Mahdi means in English the awaited one and the anointed one. So the chosen awaited one. As the earth was filled with wrong and oppression, he will fill it with justice and peace. Ali radiallahu anhu says, Yuslihuhu Allahu fi layla. Allah Rabbul Izza will prepare him for the office of leadership in one night. So the Mahdi doesn't know he is the Mahdi. And the Mahdi doesn't have the competencies of the Mahdi. Until one night. In one night Allah will transform him. And he resembles the Prophet Sallallahu not in his physical form, but in his character. Allah said about the Prophet Muhammad You, O Muhammad, are on an amazing character. This is Allah witnessing to this. This man, Al-Mahdi, will be, and he said, he will rule and lead the Muslims until he transforms the world. The ahadith mention that a king will die in the Jazeera, in the Arab Peninsula, and the sons or three sons of a king will fight and quarrel over leadership. And to avoid this quarrel, this man, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, will leave Medina in secret and go to Mecca. Because he doesn't want to be involved in the conflict, nor does he want people to turn towards him. So when he goes to Mecca, his aim is to avoid getting tangled up in this leadership struggle. Yet people follow him from Medina into Mecca. And they find him and they take him out. And they bring him to the Kaaba. And there between the, the Rukn, as in Hajar al-Aswad, and Maqam Ibrahim, they will make bay'ah to him when he doesn't want it. Al-Mahdi, as in Sahih Muslim, you find this hadith. He will come out... He will appear in Mecca and the scholars will identify him with the descriptions that the Prophet ﷺ placed about him. There are certain features about him. Wide forehead, big, big sharp eyes, a thin nose which is slightly hooked on the top, Al-Mahdi. They know his other signs so that no one can think Al-Mahdi is someone else. He has particular signs. They are all authentic narrations from the Prophet ﷺ. You'll find them in Sahih Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. So the age of the Mahdi is an age of intense struggle. And the hadith says he will stay with you for seven years and maybe eight. And if it really extends nine years. <laughs> he will fill it with justice and peace as it was filled with injustice and tyranny.